Hi everybody, it's Claire from Handmade at Hudson's and thank you very much for posting time on the video today. So over the last few videos I have been showing you how to make tags. So these are two of the examples that I made and the video to create this and also a bulk version of this is linked in below. So with the tags there were a number of options to do. So you can add the um, white on the back to ensure that you can write on there or you can tag tap at the top of the back and add your two in the front so that you can write on there now the other alternative is not to add a white backing however my mother hates that and finds it very difficult so they can just write in the metallic markers if they wanted to so the measurements for the tags themselves are just under five cent sorry just if they are five centimeters just under two inches which means that you can fit your piece of paper easily into your tag top punch so i wanted to talk through some different options so we'll move this to the side so with the paler um colors so like whisper white you can of course add to design a series paper or and just simply stamp on there so you don't actually have to add any extra layers so for this punch um it has a number of different size options so you've got the two inch the one and a half inch the one so i tend to cut it just under one and a half inches and to add the paper in there and then i've just cut down the tag to go with that and i've used happy birthday from the um blossoms in bloom stamp set and this is the hand penned paper which is stunningly gorgeous then you can use dies on them so i've got the hand penned dies here which i've just colored in and i've got happy birthday again from the uh, blossoms in bloom um you can simply stamp so i've got some blossoms in bloom here for um a birthday tag and then just some gorgeous ink um, you can use a stencil and add um, a tag, sorry, not a tag, um, a punch. So here I've got a punch and I've used the stencils and I think that looks quite pretty. You can just add paper. So we've got a stamp from Handsomely Suited and then we've just got some green shaded spruce at the bottom to add a bit of interest. And then we've got this gorgeous Mr Moonlight um twine from the flowers for every season combo pack and of course it doesn't have to be on white i have got a sahara sand tag here which uses a stencil and then the um perfectly played stamp set and then i've got two in the front on there which is also from the banner year and of course you can do them in very vanilla um i haven't finished this tag and you could of course do them in most of the subtle colours and it completely depends on whether you want to be able to write on the back or not now with one of the tags i did recently which is this one i've used highland heather but because i've um heat embossed on the front i wanted to be able to write in silver on the back now unfortunately it doesn't show up very well um so that's why i have added a piece of whisper white on the back of this one so these tags all use thick whisper white and that's because it will hold its um, shape better. Um, so if it's being bashed around, it'll hold its shape better. Now, if I'm adding a backing to a tag, I simply use the normal white rather than the thick white because the whatever you're adding it to um so the the card itself will hold that up the only exception of course is if you're adding designer series paper so this has got designer series paper on the front and so i've got a thick whisper white on the back because if i um added it to a thin or a normal whisper white or white it wouldn't hold its shape very well um and I've just added the ho 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 from the pivot played stamp set and so 
I've also cut out um, a tree using the tree punch for this tag and um, I'm actually going to move these out of the way now. I think they're a bit distracting, so let's move them up there. Um, I've actually cut a um, tree out using the tree tag and I think that that's quite cute and I was quite conscious of the, the fact I don't have any Christmas to Santa series paper yet but this pattern from um, the playing with patterns pick a pack and pattern party one of the three <laughs> it was quite nice I like the black and white check and then um, I've just stamped in gold ink and garden green there and I think it probably does need a bit of bling so I'll have to see if I can find a star to go on the back of uh, sorry on the top of my Christmas tree so these you would have seen before so these are simply uh, shaded spruce and knight of navy and then I've added the white on the back so with all these tags they're all just under two inches so it's five centimeters in size and this piece of paper here is one and a half by three inches which will just fit onto this um size of tag now I also did one a while ago which is this red one where I've heat embossed on the front and then I've added the sentiment actually on the in sorry the two in the from on the inside and that's using a, um, an old retired stamp set that I have and I think that looks quite cute so for the rest of the tags I've used some old retired designer series paper so this is a sprig and on the back of here I have added the to and the from on a piece of paper. Now with the um, paper that I've used, this is six by six paper. So what I have done is I've cut it in half at three and inches and made the um, tags just under two inches again. So that's five centimetres. All the measurements will be below and also on my tag. And it also means that actually the shaded spruce, rather than being um, rather than being ten and a half, is about nine and a half. Um, and it just means that it looks better because otherwise it, it looks too long. So on this one, I've added a spruce to the to the top, and this is all connected together. So this bit doesn't move. The design series paper doesn't move. And I've added a sticker. So again, I will <laughs> label, sorry, I will put sides for that in below if you're using the six by six paper. So for my second one, I have got um, the Santa Series paper stuck to the um, piece of shaded spruce again. And this is retired and also the twine's retired, but there is something similar in the catalogue. And I've stamped in shaded spruce and it, it's on the inside of my um, tag. Now it could be interesting to add some either metallic pearls or some red rhinestones to the front of that. I might play with that later. And then for this one, I haven't added shaded spruce behind. I've just added a piece of whisper white, but this is thick white. And on this one, I have put the two in the front on the back. So I've got another one where I've used the sprig. I was convinced the sprig had resigned, which I is, however, it is still in the catalogue. Um, and on this one, I put the two in the front on the inside, so the back is blank completely. Then you just move that aside to have the two in the front. But rather than sticking it on the back of here, I've stuck it onto this side here. And on this one, I have stuck the tree down. I've cut a, a tree out of the design series paper. And I've added a gold foil tree using dimensions. And on the back of here, I have gone for a piece of white again. And that, oh, I'm miss, missing one. So uh, on this one, I have gone for a slidey one, but I put the two in the front on this side. Now, the other option, of course, is to put the two in the front on this side and stick that down. And that would give you, I don't think I've done that. So rather than, 
rather than putting the, the two in the front on this side you can stick it on this side so that you would turn it around completely to be able to see that so these are some of the options that i found for um tags so they don't necessarily have to be boring one of the mill straightforward one color um pale tags they can be um more interesting tags you can use whatever you have in your stash to decorate them and i quite like them so thank you very much for pressing play on the video all the pictures of my tags will be on my website um handmadeathudsons.co.uk um you will also be able to find as i said the dimensions on there so um that you can make your own gorgeous tags if you want to and then you can decide how you want to decorate them so thank you very much for pressing play on the video hope to speak to you soon and um i hope this inspires you to go and create your own tags bye